Earlier today, some rather shocking but great news came out from Mushoku Tensei fans. I heard a few weeks back we were supposed to have an Eris moment or even an entire episode focusing on Eris being a Goblin Slayer. I know I'm not the only one to think of our boy the Goblin Slayer when this was mentioned to me. But anyways, the news that came out reveals that in the upcoming Blu-ray release for Mushoku Tensei, there will be an OVA in it that animates the Eris Goblin Slayer moments. I feel like this is honestly the best alternative for what they had on their plate in the recent episodes when you think about it. I mean, as I said in the past and in previous videos, the last two episodes were heavily focused on Paul and Rudy's relationship, so there was a lot of reasons to, you know, not include certain details like the Vera stuff that I talked about a few days ago with the whole fan service. So throwing in a Goblin Slayer episode in between, let's say, Rudy and Paul's argument and then forgiveness would have definitely hurt the pacing a lot. Personally, as an anime only that hasn't been spoiled at all for upcoming events, I feel this is honestly the best possibility for all fans of Mushoku Tensei, because the pacing will get to remain the same for the anime, but the extra content that was cut will be there for people to watch eventually to understand upcoming events and the story. Which does make me wonder though, since I did make a video a few days back talking about the Vera stuff and how the fan service actually made sense and there was, you know, an explanation for it, I do wonder if there will be an OVA, just how we're having Eris with Goblin Slaying, like an OVA focused on that, I do wonder if we'll have, let's say, an episode with Paul's journey with his daughter across the land and all that, and eventually saving people, and we get to see the story of the two sisters, I wonder if an OVA will be diving into that eventually. But anyways, I'm going on a limb here and assuming that the Goblin Slaying episode wasn't just going to be a action episode, but time for Eris to grow as a character and potentially set up future arc plot points, which is why some were upset it was skipped. I would understand, especially if it was indeed important for certain story arcs way off in the future. The OVA announcement makes me believe this even more so now, because normally you don't add in an OVA like this if it isn't important. But anyways, that wasn't the only news about Mushoku Tensei that came out today. We also got a new key visual which showcases the dragon guy we met at the end of Core 1, and we got mentions of a potential Mushoku Tensei movie in the future. The movie details isn't 100% confirmed to be happening, by the way, so don't instantly assume that a movie is, like, 100% happening, but, you know, there is talks of it having potential to happen depending on demand and how popular Mushoku actually gets, but, as I said, it is indeed a possibility. I mean, we are in the age with anime getting more movies to animate an entire arc instead of doing, like, a filler movie. I mean, let's think about Demon Slayer, let's think about Jujutsu Kaisen, and now, you know, we have potential talks to Mushoku Tensei. It is indeed possible for it to happen just judging by how popular Mushoku Tensei has been as an anime. But I'm going to leave it at that, but it was a big day. Sucks there was no 86 anime today, but this news and faraway paladin has tided me over. If you enjoyed my content, you know, then please leave a like or subscribe if you want more of my videos to appear in your YouTube feed. But I love you all, and be safe. Chibi out.